Shahid is a 35-year-old monkey catcher with the Delhi municipality for the past 15 years. Usman helps him on his daily rounds at Delhi's Kalandir colony. Their job? To make langu sounds to scare monkeys and trap them in cages. He is paid 1200 rupees for each monkey that is successfully captured and released into the Asola Bhatti Sanctuary, a place assigned by the Delhi government since 2007 for the translocation of the simians. Monkey catchers like Shahid are a necessity for the capital of Delhi that is brimming with its population. While there is no official count of monkeys roaming free in human habitations, it is estimated that more than 25,000 monkeys have already been released into the sanctuary since 2007. <laughs> Mimicking langur sounds is the next best option available to these monkey catchers for scaring the rhesus monkeys. Using real langurs had to be discontinued in 2013 following a ban on such use of the protected animals. Kalandir colony in the Bhalswa area of northwest Delhi was once part of a pristine wetland ecosystem. Located on the northern Yamuna floodplain, Bhalswa has now slowly evolved into an urban landscape housing over 2 lakh people. पहले हम लोगों ने देखा था तो 10 से 20 बंदर थे। अब यहाँ पर कम से कम हजार या 500 से ऊपर बंदर हैं। तो पहले यहाँ पे कोई भी ऐसा कुछ नहीं था। ये बहुत ज़्यादा सुंदर वो था ये जंगल। अब तो ये कालोनी चारों तरफ इसके कालोनी आ गई है। जंगल खत्म हो गया। तो � इंसानों को भी प्रॉब्लम हो रही है। छाप ये बतलाइए, यहाँ पर जैसे कितने मंकी साथ बंदर आते हैं? यहाँ तो भैया गिनती की नहीं होते कितने आते हैं? तो आपको हजारों की संख्या, हजारों की संख्या में। हाँ। For residents of Kalandir Colony, monkey menace is an everyday affair. Two months ago, Nisha, a resident, was attacked by monkeys. जी मैं वहाँ पे पानी गरम कर रही थी बच्चों को नहलाने के लिए, तो बंदर आया था कूड़ा चितरा के यहाँ चला गया था पर मुझे लगा वाट बंदर चला गया होगा पर मैंने देखा कि वहाँ बंदर बैठा था मैंने उसे देखा नहीं बंदर को मैं पानी लेके जा रही थी वो बंदर उसपे हाफी हो गए झटकने लगा फिर मैं उतरने लगी पानी मेरे पर गिर गया तो मेरा पैर पैर जल गया In another incident, Ulmila, a homemaker who lives down the street from Nisha, was bitten by ten to twelve monkeys at once. मैंने क्या किया ना कि अब एक दो बंदर रहता तो चलो अपने बचाव के लिए कुछ भी इंसान कर जा सकता है एक पे एक दस बारह बंदर घर में घुस जाए तो इंसान क्या करेगा तो फिर मैंने क्या किया ना अपने मेरी लड़की थी नौ महीने की बच्ची थी छोटी सी तो मैंने उसको यहाँ पर रख के यहाँ पर और उसको दबा के अपना सो गई सोने का एक्टिंग किया कि मैं सो जाऊँ तो उतने पर ना वो बंदर ना चारों तरफ से मेरे को यहाँ पर घेर लिए चार तरफ से घेर लिए फिर भी मैं अपना दबक के सोने की एक्टिंग करने लगे कि इस तरह से भी बंदर मुझे देख लें कि हाँ ये सोई हुई है तो अपना चले जाए सामान यहाँ पे राशन वगैरह है कुछ टांग रखा था टमाटर दाल वगैरह सब चीज़ था पहले वो सारा घर में बिखेर दिया फिर भी मैं अपने सोने की एक्टिंग करी कि चलो भाई किसी तरह भी सामान वेस्ट कर रहे हैंगे मगर वो चले जाए फिर भी सारा सामान वेस्ट करने के बाद मैं चार तरह से मुझे घेर लिया और मेरे को पकड़ के काटने लगे सब पूरी बुरी तरह से ये पीठ पर यहाँ पर कंधे पर जांग के पास में सारे जगह पे काटा यहाँ तक पेट में भी नहीं छोड़ा था In 2012, Delhi reported more than 950 incidents of monkey attacks and an estimated 20 such incidents daily in 2019. The foremost reason cited by most experts was reduced habitats. Now, jungles in and around Delhi have been decimated. 
especially in the ridge area where now the metro line is coming we had recommended that the metro line be actually taken underground but uh, despite all our efforts the dmrc insists on having it over the land which would mean thousands of trees being cut um, this would would further aggravate the monkey problem in delhi uh, areas around gurgaon which were sort of isolated and forested used to be monkey habitat once we have encroached upon their place how can we blame them from encroaching upon us considered by many as descendants of the monkey god hanuman monkeys still today are treated as demigods and revered in many parts of the country from villages to the biggest cities main hindu hu aur main puja bhi karta hu unki और मैं मानता हूँ कहीं ना कहीं हो सकता है उनकी कोई पावर इनमें हो और हमारे हिंदू देवी देवता में तो इनकी पूजा होती है आज हजारों मंदिर हैं और सभी लोग पूजा करते हैं The practice of feeding continues despite the Delhi government issuing a notice in 2007 advising people against it Being fed plentifully by devotees gives rise to another problem that of rapid breathing since they no longer need to spend their energy searching for food if you see in while there is a food scarcity there will be droughts there will be good years there will be bad years and there will there will be predators so there is this population control the reeses is also a re religious symbol and a uh, lot of people feed these animals uh, and that is uh, contrary to uh, you know reducing the problem at hand because they are getting food from garbage they are getting food from people uh, everywhere so nutritionally they are doing pretty well only disease is taking toll on on the population and that's why in the wild uh, what we seeing the rate of growth is much lesser than what is happening in urban environment <laughs> Iqbal Malik, the first female primatologist of India, has been working for more than 30 years to solve human-monkey conflict. She points out how monkeys live in social groups, circles that get disrupted when they are trapped haphazardly in ones and twos, leading to aggressive behavior. If there are monkeys in a particular area and people want them to be removed, they don't know how to do it. they tell municipalities to do it municipalities are not meant for that it's not a civic work it's a wildlife work and they will send some trappers with a leg hold trap initially i have photographs and a single monkey will be trapped or two monkeys at the same time in a small box cage will be trapped at one time breaking the groups creating fishing chaotic fishing creating multiple small unstable groups and many many loners more groups more home range needed more home range from where is it coming they just spread out into near areas of the city from few areas where they were they are everywhere and everywhere is not foraging ground so naturally they raid naturally they create problems laga baith ke aaram se aao 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 andar laga andar aao 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 hum hamare paas complaint aayi ek roini 18 sector se sarkar ki taraf se hum log wahan par bandar pakde gaye humne apna cage laga diya उसमें एक तीन बंदर फंसे जैसे हमने उनको निकाल कर दूसरी जगह सेफ्ट करा तो जो उनके परिवार वाले थे एक बार आकर ही एक बार आकर मेरे पे चिपट गए ये मेरे को यहाँ पर काट लिया यहाँ पे काटने के बाद फिर मैंने उसको जाने दिया जब हम किसी को पकड़ेंगे या कहीं से पकड़ेंगे तो उनके साथ ही तो जरूर अटैक करेंगे हम The Delhi High Court order in 2007 to translocate simian populations to the Asolabhati sanctuary situated in the outskirts of Delhi was an idea planted by Malik. 
while it seemed to be a humane solution back then today she says the idea needs to be reevaluated initially i said okay translocation i demonstrated translocation at that time it was easy because there were only about 15% uh, commensal monkeys in the city at this point when they are thinly spread over the city you just have to take them away there's just no other way and we do not have so much of greenery so much of foraging ground that we can take them there so we have to create primate estates monkey sanctuaries all such structures are needed now sterilization centers are needed now For the last 3 years the Wildlife Institute of India has been working on a population census and a behavioral study of monkeys. Our aim uh, in this is to reduce the population substantially by using uh, uh, even a contraception and for rhesus macaque also to use uh, uh, surgical intervention uh, vasectomy and tubectomy uh, uh, to address the population pattern. Kishanpur gaon in south delhi somebody saw him and gauri mauleki an animal rights activist believes that sterilization used in the past to control stray dog population isn't the right solution for monkeys ajeeb si condition thi sterilization has classically increased uh, the aggression in monkeys we've seen that in himachal it only uh, kind of made the monkeys more aggressive while the population came down the monkey bites went up so it's a waste of public funds as solutions like sterilization and immunocontraception are being weighed gori believes there's a need to strike at the heart of the problem instead of tackling symptoms picking up monkeys from a certain place and relocating them actually aggravates the problem so uh, in order to deal with the issue you need to deal with the problem with the genesis of the problem which we think is the cutting down of their habitat the removal of their habitat it is a complex problem in which opinions continue to stay divided while the solutions offered by the wildlife institute of india in delhi could take up to 8 to 10 years to yield results those like malik believe that no solution is sustainable without strong administrative and political will i don't know if we should call it menace or we should call it something else it just negligence it just lack of management or wrong management that that's what has happened where monkeys are concerned Historically humans and monkeys have lived together in coexistence for years but growing incidents of human wildlife conflict have made them bitter towards each other with the wildlife institute of india's model being implemented time will tell if we will be able to coexist like earlier or the conflict for territorial gains will continue unabated